Summer's back and it's hotter than ever. And you know, there's only so much time you can spend at the pool, JR. Yeah, and there's only so many movies you can watch and so much ice cream you can really eat. Uh, I don't know about ice cream, but if you want to have fun and stay cool, we'll show you how today on Su Vida. Vida. See that? Yeah, good job. Have fun, buddy. Hey, don't adjust your TV. The video is just fine. I'm JR Cardenas. And I'm Vanessa Ramirez. Welcome to Su Vida. Hey, it's been a few days since the kids been out of school. It's hot and they're already bored. Yes, and so that means you're looking for some cool fun and that cool fun will lead you here to Scottsdale, Arizona and Glow Putt. Yeah, that's why we're wearing our white pants and neon colors because it's 18 holes of glow in the dark fun. This is my kind of golf, Vanessa. No special shoes, no golf cart, no caddy. And no lessons. Work. Mm -hmm. Although sometimes in life it's helpful to have a pro give you some tips, especially when it comes to money. And again. My name is Maria Brunner and I work for One AZ Credit Union. I'm the Central Region Program Manager for Workplace Banking. At One AZ Credit Union, we have several classes on financial literacy and that's what we like to share it and empower our communities. We can start with our kids, and teaching our kids about money at an early age is key to their success. It is very important that our young kids learn about budgeting, and it's very simple, as even as going to the grocery store. Let them know about the budget that you have in mind, and also have them assist you as you're going through the grocery store picking up items, but always keeping that budget in mind. One of the ways that we can earn money for our kids, it's really chores around the house. Something very as simple as cleaning up the room, taking out the trash, really learning the value of money. Financial literacy is very important, but what's also very important is Dress for Success. My name is Lorraine Chavez. I'm a consultant with Dress for Success Phoenix. Dress for Success Phoenix is a nonprofit organization and it's to help provide women with job interview clothing, helping them ace that job interview. These children need someone to show them that their self-image is important, that they are going to be valuable in the future. They might have struggles at home, but they can meet these challenges as a family together if they just talk and pay attention to one another. It's so important. It's as simple as when you look good, you feel good. It's just that. It's empowering. When we're interacting with the students in the classes, we ask them questions about what they think professionalism means. A lot of them aren't aware of what work ethic means. So we talk to them about and we give them scenarios on how to conduct themselves in the professional world. It's never too early to learn good habits, work ethic, soft skills, how to treat one another professionally. So it's never too early to learn all of these life skills. One AC Credit Union truly believes that we exist to improve the lives of our members, our associates, and the communities that we serve. We partner with different organizations where we come out and talk to them about financial literacy. It can be as simple as banking basics, credit basics, home ownership, and wealth management. That's really key to the success of our communities, and we believe if one succeeds, everyone succeeds. We have such a passion for our culture, and it's so gratifying to see Latino women rise up in the community. Vanessa can take the lead here, Bob. Her putting game is her weakness, and she knows this. This, however, is a shot she can't miss. Shh, it's okay, I have a backup ball. Will you be quiet, JR? The pressure is getting to her, obviously, as you can see. We'll be right back, take a little break as we get her to cool down. There's more Sumida coming up right after this. Subida is brought to you by Chicanos por la Causa. 
Join the cause for change. Welcome back to Suvida. Today we're playing miniature golf at Glopa in Scottsdale. And can we get an instant replay? As you can see, I made that shot. Good job, Vanessa. Thanks, Shay. I appreciate the support. You know, everything in life is easier when you don't have to go at it alone. Chicanas por la Casa knows about that. They've been lending a hand for 50 years, not only to individuals and families, but to businesses too. As we discovered when the first president and the current president of CPLC sat down to lunch. You know, we actually uh, commissioned a private study of what's been the economic impact. Right. Uh, beyond the social impact, which is most important to us, right? But over the past 10 years, in the state of Arizona, Chicanas por la Casa, something you helped start and I'm leading today, has made a $1.75 billion economic impact to the state. And sales tax to the state budget, in that 10 years, we generated $57 million worth of sales tax. Wow, well, congratulations. So you know, we're a partner with the state. So when I talk to you know, Governor Ducey, and he appointed me to the Arizona Mexico Commission, we're bringing companies that are expanding from Mexico into Phoenix. One of those companies that recently made the move is Zummit Plastics. My name is Miguel Luna, Vice President of Summit Plastics. We are the only company manufacturing stretch film biogradable in the United States. 99% of the industry use our materials. I've been in this market for 25 years. I'm coming from Mexico City, and it's when we decide to expand our business here in the United States. EDC, Economic Development, introduced me with CPLC, and this when we engage in this new adventure. CPLC gives us a lot of support and explaining what kind of uh, benefit we're going to have if we expand our business here in Phoenix, Arizona. A few benefits that we see here in Arizona are like a workforce that they support CPLC, also, uh, electricity is one so important. Uh, it's cheaper than California. Taxes is significant. Also, that we find the correct side for our company. We start with uh, 10 employees. Right now, we are around 49 employees, and we're forecast in the next three or four years we are going to be around 90 employees in this in Phoenix, Arizona. Our biogradable stretch film material we are selling to all U.S. works. We are selling to master distributors. The investment for Summit is $25 million to create this company. Our world forecast for 2020, we're going to be around $60 million per year. That's our revenue. Uh, we're looking now to expand our business in different locations. Now we're going to be in the East Coast. We're going to be in, in Columbus, Georgia, and we're doing the same kind of investment. So we're going to invest $25 million. CPLC is going to be a huge support to somebody come from different country because they will explain the rules, they will explain how this works, you know, how they can expand their business and how they can succeed in this business. I help them to bring the, the correct work, workforce to their company. And I recommend some companies that are coming from Mexico, they can contact CPLC and they will help Vanessa, check out this hole. It's crazy. You got to spin it before you putt. Who comes up with this stuff? Bark like a small dog on each stroke this hole? Yeah. Evil geniuses, I think. But hey, it's the challenge that makes it fun. You're going to be barking a long time. <laughs> each one of the 18 holes here at Glow Putt is definitely a challenge. Just where do creatives find their inspiration? We recently caught up with one at Frank Lloyd Wright's Taliesin West to answer that question. I'm in Frank Lloyd Wright's living room at Taliesin uh, West in uh, Arizona, and I'm here giving a little talk about the connection between letter forms and architecture. 
My dad was a hot rodder, so we always had cars in the garage. Um, so I think that was a, an early influence on form performance. Um, and then naturally, I was encouraged to draw. Um, and where do you take that? Usually it's a, a, a career in design of some sort. So I became interested in architecture through my passion, if you will, for collecting modern furniture. And eventually, most modern roads lead back to Frank Lloyd Wright. And then once you start digging into his career and how punk rock he was about his approach, not only the building, but down to where that piece of art is going to live in that building. It's tough not to, not to get sucked in. We started out as a traditional design firm, taking on you know a, a mixed bag of, of clients. And we found out early on that um, clients don't always let you do what you want to do. We decided we needed to find a product rather than a service. Um, and the product just happened to be fonts. It allowed us to you know, explore and experiment. Um, the book came about because we, we always wanted to do sort of a 25 year review. And we thought it would be just a cool picture book. So it was kind of like listening to the record backwards to see what the message was because we didn't really, you know, think about our intuitive approach to design. If you flip through the book, you'll see that hobbies somehow support the business. And if we could somehow find that sweet spot between embracing our hobbies and our, and our, and our personal interest and marrying that with a paycheck, you're gonna, you're gonna be a happy person. So what's the score? Do you really wanna know? Uh, yeah, I can't be that bad. <sighs> you're beating me by five strokes. Yes! Take that to the bank. Well, the game isn't over yet. Don't go away because I need your support. We'll be back with more Suvila right after this. JR, it's beginner's luck. Suvida Musica is powered by Mega 104.3 and 101.1 The Beat. Hey, welcome back to Suvida. I'm Vanessa Ramirez. And I'm JR Cardenas, and we're at Glow Putt, 18 holes of glow in the dark fun. So what makes indoor glow-in-the-dark golf possible? That cool ball right there. Hey, JR, you can charge it. Observe. Look at this. What? And through the entire golf course, you can actually charge it through recharge stations they have all over the place. That's so cool. I know, right? Yeah. You know what else is cool? Our friends at Mega 104.3 and 101 The Beat. You know, everyone has a story to share, and here's theirs. Take a look. Let's recharge this one. Yeah, it needs it. Hey, good morning. It's Alex Santa Maria with you right here on Mega 104.3. CRH is a veteran-founded, locally-owned radio station, KAJM, KNRJ, and a digital advertising and marketing agency, Digital Fuse, but we're more commonly known in the community as Mega 104.3 and the beat at 101.1 FM. Our two uh, partners were fighter pilots back at Luke Air Force Base. When they got out of the service, they got into the used car business. They were partners and investors, and they got into real estate. And then, uh, by accident, they got into the radio business. Hit me up, I'm waiting on you, 602-260-1043, and we'll get started. When I first came here, there was really no jocks on the air. There was just some music, we were playing a lot of Motown back then, and I played that at many radio stations, so I thought, man, I need to be there. It was actually founded from my father, uh, my stepbrother. Basically, they just gave me the reins to start the real estate, you know, to do the real estate stuff. Mega, I put together uh, with a guy named Kerry Edwards. Kerry Edwards called me one day, he was in the Tucson market, and said, hey, I'd like to be your PD, I have some ideas, and so he came down here and he and I met, and that's how we put Mega together. The one thing that attracts me to the company is that they're faithful to their employees, which is, you know, you can't say that about a lot of companies nowadays, so it's a good thing, it's a really good thing. CRH Broadcasting is so powerful in my life, in my family's life, and it truly is a family. I mean, they're going to go above and beyond for you first and foremost so that we can have that impact on the community. A lot of integrity, um, a lot of support within the community, and just, you know, sharing the love for music. There's a special place because they are also a military family, and I, I take that, that very serious. Sierra H Broadcasting means home, because when, when I'm here, I truly feel like I'm at home. I remember when I lost my dad, 
Uh, every single person that could make it showed up to his services. And I was just so like overwhelmed with emotion because I'm walking up to the church and I look up and there they are, like Michael Malice, Ken, you know, Alex, Leticia, and it truly left an imprint in my heart that I could never like forget. Just like Mega has kind of opened up the horizons of our old school and the format of music we're playing, the beat's done the same and now they've added new music on the beat also because now we have the young and the old on the beat listening to that hip hop. Hey, what's cracking? I'm Rascal. Hey, it's Jackie Morales. And I'm Leticia. This is 101.1 The Beat. And you're waking up with The, the Wake, Wake Up Crew. I thought you knew, <laughs> fool. A basic tenet of broadcasting is to serve the community. And we take that very seriously. It's great for our team to know that we're willing to support them. It's great for the community because they see this out and about in the community and they look at us as one of their own and as part of their family. Mega listeners are familiar that they, they uh, interact with Alex Santa Maria, they interact with James Rebus as the Manic Hispanic, Jackie Morales, they all know them. It's all about family and everybody, I, we got people coming here all the time winning prizes and they're part of us. What's fantastic about, about those loyal listeners is when you see them, you know them. You know what I mean? I mean, you're not going to remember every single name, you're not going to, but like, at an event, you know them, you can smile at them, you can shake their hand, and like, they know that you're representing the radio station. We have four generations of people listening to, to Mega. The beat's a little bit different because it's a younger audience, but uh, hopefully it, it, it'll carry the same legacy that Mega has over the last 20 years. Really just getting into the digital world more and more, and then put those on our website, and, and, and doing local discussions for the community. We're having a great time out here at Globe Hut, and you know, this is a great place to plan your next party. Oh yeah, kids parties, adult parties, team building. This place is fun for everyone. And before I forget, hmm. happy birthday, Vanessa. It's not my birthday anymore, JR. Uh, then what am I supposed to do with all this cake? Uh, I think I just threw up in my mouth a little bit. Cool. Ooh, all right, let's get back to the birthday party planning here. So when you book your party here, you get 36 holes, which means you play the course twice. And that means you lose twice, JR. Ha! Hey, my lead is down to two strokes. So we'll be back with more of this suspense from the green, or the black if you want to call it here. Don't miss this as I beat her. We'll be right back. <laughs> yeah, right. You didn't even wear a neon shirt. Restaurant and food segments on Subida are brought to you in part by El Pollo Loco. Ooh, welcome back to the Lynx here at Glow Putt. My lead is down to two strokes. Aha, not for long, my friend. Besides, I thought football was your game. Ah, uh, yes, football is my game. Which brings me to the next topic, enfocado. And soccer is what it's all about. Cox viewers can take to the field with a 2019 FIFA Women's World Cup from France. Catch all the action in Espanol on Telemundo and Universo. Or in English on Fox Sports, then it's Copa America, the longest running international continental soccer tournament played every four years in South America. Copa is on Telemundo and NBC Universo. And if that's not enough, how about the international men's 2019 CONCACAF Gold Cup soccer tournament taking place this summer right here in the U.S. Gold Cup is on Univision, Univision Deportes. Games can also be streamed for watching on the go. If you love soccer or football, or just great passion in sports competition, this summer is the summer for you. Goal! We just cut that lead to one stroke. Yeah, that was a lucky shot. With luck like that, you should be heading out to Apache Gold Casino. Oh yeah. Ching. Woo! The scenery is spectacular. Massive granite boulders set amidst the splendor of the desert create a setting of solitude and quiet, which belies the action, the fun, and the excitement that exists just around the next bend. Located an easy 90-minute drive just east of Mesa is the Apache Gold Casino Resort, where you'll discover a spirit of the high desert that stays with you long after your getaway ends. The AAA three-diamond rated Apache Gold Hotel, with its cozy rooms and spacious suites, provides the perfect setting for quiet relaxation. Tone up in the fitness center.
and relax with the dip in the heated pool. Just steps away is the Apache Stronghold Golf Course, recognized as one of Arizona's top courses. Designed by acclaimed golf course architect Tom Doak, this par 72 high desert golf course will challenge even the best. After working up an appetite on the links, there's no shortage of dining options at the Apache Gold Casino Resort, to a gourmet sandwich or rack of tender ribs at the Black River Grill, to the most mouth-watering hand-cut steaks served with lair at the Apache Prime Steakhouse. dinner, the fun is just getting started. It's time to stake your claim at the Apache Gold Casino. From over 500 slots. To blackjack. You bring the luck and the casino will bring the action. Whatever your game, the Apache Gold Casino Resort has you covered. An easy 90-minute drive will take you worlds away. Come for the golf. Come for the food. Come enjoy the spirit of the high desert and the excitement of the spin of the wheel. Whether you come for a day or a weekend, you're bound to enjoy the riches of the Apache Gold Casino Resort. Apache Gold Casino Resort is a great summer getaway. And the drive, it's amazing too. Oh, it is beautiful. Mm -hmm. You know, too bad my luck didn't hold up on the links today, JR. Well, you can't win them all, kid. Next time, Tiger. <laughs> That's all right. I had a great time playing and we beat the heat. So if you're looking for something fun to do this summer, come out to Glopa and you can meet their cute mascot, Maddie. How cute. Hello, Maddie. How are you? We want to thank Jim and Jenny for having us here at Glopa today. Make sure you come out, have some fun, and stay cool. We'll see you next time right here on Suvida. I think this should be my new co-host, don't you think? I think I do Maddie too. doesn't she want to work with down. you. I like that. <laughs>